a little bit more in depth at Hawthorne, gentlemen, uh, and I've got to read my notes here because there's a few of them. The Rockers at Collingwood, also the Shores. The Jarmans at Adelaide, the Sextons at Carlton. The list probably goes on for quite a while. Now we see the Vosses, of course, up there at uh, Brisbane. Well, the latest brothers to uh, get together are at Hawthorne, and that's, of course, uh, Justin and Shane. Let me tell you, these two are just like chalk and cheese. You two pretty close as brothers? Oh, this is probably about the closest we'll ever get. Stand there now. Nice little brother, what about big brother? Yeah, I, I suppose, yeah, as Justin said, we uh, we give each other a fair bit of space, but we, uh, you do know we're brothers when we're around each other. We sort of, you know, hang around a little bit and get along quite nicely. Do you ever contemplate ever playing footy at the top level in the same side? Oh, probably not, not with the draft now. You can end up anywhere, so... I suppose, yeah, when... When we were a bit younger, Justin used to play for Collingwood and I was a Richmond supporter so I suppose we we wanted to play for those sides when we uh, got a little bit older but um, that was never the case. Fair to say Shane that perhaps last year, season 96, you, you realised your potential. I mean the stat sheet showed that you did things pretty well. Have yeah, given you a bit of an incentive to turn around and say I've got to do the same thing again for 97? Uh, well, the, uh, the season before, the 1995 season, my stats were pretty high as well. Um, having Darren Jarman on the side and uh, a few others um, who were playing well, I suppose, you know, they took uh, a bit more of the limelight. And I suppose since Darren's gone, um, it sort of paved the way for myself and, and people have noticed me as a player a little bit more. But uh, my stats were pretty much the same. Um, yeah, it's just when personnel's down a little bit, if I had to ask you what perhaps your, your worst attribute would be, Justin, what would you say it is? Attribute? I'll we'll say, we'll keep it on the footy field, though. <laughs> we'll keep it on the footy field. If there's something about your game that you don't like and you say, OK, this is where I've really got to knuckle oh. down and this is what I've got to do to become a regular player, what would it be? Oh, probably me kicking and probably more running, probably run a bit more. But what's your best? Uh, reading the play, probably. Shane? Well, uh, my worst attribute would be my brother. <laughs> Um, no, it was probably my uh, my skills. It lets me down at, at times, um, if I can work on that a little bit. And I suppose my better side is probably my fitness. Um, I'm able to run the game out. One year under Ken Judge, do you think Hawthorne will be a better side, 97? Now, if you know him, he knows you, and uh, the latter half show that you, know, you are going to be a side that can be relevant. Yeah. Uh, for sure, Ken uh, had a huge input into a lot of plays on and off the field. And I have no doubt that uh, he'll only get the best out of everyone and we'll, we will improve, hopefully. If you had to compare two clubs, Justin, uh, Sydney and Hawthorne, in the short time you've been here, what's the main difference? Uh, pretty big difference, I reckon. There's a uh, pretty laid back up in Sydney because you're away from the limelight where as Hawthorne's pretty professional and that. Has Ken Judge told you what he expects of you? Oh, not really yet. He's gone over briefly, but not fully yet. More money in Sydney too, isn't it, Justin? No. Uh, Play for the love of the game, not money. Can you look really I really say that, Justin? Yeah, play, for the, play for the jumper. <laughs> oh, he's been listening to you, yes. Barry, hasn't he? Yes. Oh. That's right. That's, That's the way they want you to talk. To see. That's the way they want you to That's talk. It's a disgrace so. if you get a young bloke who jokes about it these days. I mean, yes, exactly the way it should be. <laughs> How do you see him uh, fitting in, Andrew, to the forward line structure? Just, yes. Justin yes. Crawford. Well, uh, I reckon it's a great pickup. I think that final, uh, the qualifying final up at the SCG last year. When uh, Sydney did, when Hawthorne looked like they had Sydney beaten, I remember Rodney Hood brought Justin Crawford off the ground that night, and Crawford kicked a goal and had a hand in another and laid a beautiful tackle, turnover of which led to another goal. He was instrumental in Sydney reviving itself in that game, and uh, he's a he's probably never going to be quite as good as his brother. Shane's definitely got the flair and the and the speed and probably the looks and all the, the rest of it, but Justin's pretty good football, I reckon. I wouldn't underestimate him. The uh, the news of Shane in relation to uh, yeah, it's not the ankle. Good. Now, yeah. uh, we didn't see that on that uh, clip of footage there. I've done you a little bit of justice there, Shane, but the ball actually trickled out at one stage and hit him on the ankle, and you could just see him wince in pain. Um, <laughs> it no, it, set him up. it didn't set him up. really hit him all that hard. Uh, and I thought, you're in a little bit of trouble, young fellow. Yeah. Now, the news today we hear is that he might not appear till what, about rounds three or four? Well, I've heard from some people at Hawthorne that there's real doubts about him being ready by round four. Now, they need all hands on deck if they're going to get through this start of this testing period that they've got early, and he's absolutely critical. No Crawford, no Salmon? 
Well, that's his salmon doesn't come up. We're not sure about that yet. I mean, his groin might, those scans might have fixed him up a bit, but uh, if they actually fix it, it's got to know where the scans fix things up, do they? They'd probably just reveal damage. Oh, I don't know. You're the groin expert around the <laughs> Have you never had your groin scan? No, no, I won't live near me with one of those things. <laughs> a groin, a groin's something you surf, I think, anyway, isn't it? No, oh, look, keep, no. Me, keep me right out yeah, of that. Yeah, that's right. Talking uh, of young fellows making moves.